Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy now. Because that could tip. That could tip off the road. Yeah. Well, here we are. We got the lifter into the space, and here's a bit more of a preview of this space that we will be moving into. There's lots still to be done. The landlord's been blocking up. Um, other parts of this very large building because someone wanted to move in first thing in January so his focus was on that space beyond there I think what he's had to do is move some of the junk in here so he's, he's working on them um, he's working on getting rid of the junk and then there's other bits he's gonna do like he's gonna fix the ceiling there's lots of electrics to do and beyond this old diesel container uh, where you see those three windows he's going to knock a new shutter through there the plan is that this area down here would be our machining area <clears throat> so we'd have we'd have the shutter there where boards would come in and with the board lifter that we've just dropped off we'd be unloading to uh, a stack of boards probably over there but this, this little enclosure here is going to get knocked out. That enclosed the diesel heater, which is um, redundant because it's beyond repair, really. So we're just going to get rid of the enclosure. That's another old diesel heater, which, again, is just not really worth spending money on. Uh, so possible future location for CNC machine. Um, there's another unit, another unit there with another couple of joiners. Um, and they just need that access for a fire escape route coming through to this new doorway that's been opened up here. We've got a lot of things already in place, like these are some, some airlines um, with an extension that could go back to a compressor so we could have some workbenches here with compressor tools or just re relocate that, of course. And the two big spray booths down here we're planning to use this central one we were considering removing the further one making that our assembly area but i think we'll leave it in place and see how things develop um, but to reduce dust we're thinking to put a partition wall across here to isolate the machining area so we could go straight to spraying without wood dust Possibly another wall also just on, on the far end of that middle spray booth. But uh, Brady and I haven't fully decided on that yet because um, there's pros and cons and obviously costs to every wall. Uh, if we did fully enclose it, and with, with the suction you get off these two big fans in here, so we've got two working massive extractors we need to make sure that the air coming in matches in volume the air coming coming out which if we enclosed it we'd want to do ideally by by cutting holes in this wall with filters um, which could work because that is an insulated wall with a gap between it and the solid wall up to the next unit there's a gap all down there so it might actually work to draw air in through there and then be filtered where it goes into the booth so we may do that i think at the very least we'll build, build a separating wall and maybe start by seeing how we get on with the air just the air just coming in from free space that way where there should be less dust created lots of jobs to do like scraping all the old overspray off the booths the landlord has been incredibly helpful and accommodating. Um, and there's also a lot of kit from the old company that, that went bankrupt that used to be here, such as uh, more than one of this kind of drying rack on wheels and various other bits and bobs hanging around. Lots of bits down here, you can see. So uh, just gonna have a chat to the landlord in a minute and see where we're at. I'm half expecting him to say the uh, move-in date's going to go 
further back um, beyond early February, but we can work with that. So there's an update for you. When we were transporting this, it was leaking oil like mad. And when I realized I put a tin under it and caught what I could, and we're just putting it back in now. I don't know a whole lot about hydraulic mechanisms, but one of the guys working here says, oh yeah, just stick the oil back in and it will work. Seems like a fairly simple mechanism, this lifter. As I showed in the first Derek Barrett video, he was showing us pumping that handle and that, that jacks it up. And there's a little release lever, which just lets it fall back down under control. This old diesel heater here, this is another one that's really not, not worth fixing. I've had an expert in to have a look at it and he says it's just not really worth spending money on. It's old, out of date, inefficient. Um, just as a little example of the sort of stuff that's just been left, we've got loads of spray guns knocking about. I don't know if any of them are any good. Various odds and ends. There's a pocket hole machine here that was out in the in the wet, which I've brought in and it's it's dried out now over a few weeks. If you're watching this and you you know this model, then let me know. I've never seen this one before. American brand that one I think. So we're gonna see if we can get that working. Seems unlikely though. Um, there's a Tormek sharpener here, and also bits and bobs of a um, wood welder which again, we'll see if we can get working. And then there's bits of spray equipment, which we may see if we can get working, but we might do best just to start new with clean pipes. The electrics work though, the electrics turn the, the big fans on. So yeah, that's a good kit. Yeah, so here's that pedestrian doorway. And next to it, the uh, opening to the existing window which the landlord is kindly turning into a shutter. He's very accommodating. We've been really fortunate with this landlord. Uh, it's 26, 50 millimeters wide, which is pretty tight, really. If you're thinking of maneuvering 24, 40 mil, eight foot boards through on a lifter, but he's concerned about widening it anymore, creating a fairly narrow post uh, pillar here. So we just had a chat about it and said, well, we'll, we'll make do. Um, we do have the wider shutter at the far end if we needed um, but there's future plans down there for another premises that's going to be built with an enclosing fence that might just be a bit too tight to the corner of that building to allow the big wagons to come in and deliver that in so that's that's one of the reasons why uh, we're not planning on using that as the main entry shutter. Now they are going to hard surface this whole area and we'll get parking here so that'll flatten off more to this level. And then we just got to figure out having it ramping up a bit up to there. <clears throat> I hung around a bit, talking to the landlord about different things and alterations he's still going to make. In these, in these stores all along here, there was all sorts of stuff, some nice old machinery but it's all got rained on because the roof's leaking and uh, at first it seemed like well we might be able to repair stuff and get it up and running but the more you looked at everything you thought no it's been it's been ditched out there for a reason um, one thing that we might possibly be able to fix is underneath this racking which is separate that that frame there is an old um, oh the name escapes me it's a clamping it's a Lamont clamping table it's a sort of inclined table and it, it has these very square sort of rails so you've got a right angle at the bottom and then it has rams hydraulic rams which are also lying around somewhere that will clamp up a door and then the wood welder I mentioned earlier you sort of zap it with that and straight away your your glue's dry um, that's that's still a rigid frame it's not in the best condition but I'm going to look into whether that could be um, renovated and then there's, there's just all sorts around I mean they've got proper big scale extraction because the unit the unit next to ours 
So that's going to be ours. And then all over here, you can't really see it, but that's a unit pretty much the same size. That was one of the woodworking shops full of woodworking machinery. And that is already ducted, um, properly ducted out. So another joinery company has taken that. So three joinery companies. Um, they've, they've taken that because they want to use the ducting. Um, to give you a, an idea of the scale of the original company that was based here, this whole, this whole site was theirs. And you can't really see, but over there is a significantly bigger sort of warehouse shed type building, bigger than all these buildings here, which was their main wood shop. So even this, main, even this workshop here that I was saying was all ducting, that was kind of like a minor workshop. All the huge machinery was, was over there. So it's really a tragedy that this long established business went under because they were established, I think, in 1880, something like that. And over the years they've done general building um, and then sort of specialised down to very, very high-end hardwood doors. But they're, they're just gone now. Still, it's worked in our favour, so um, I can't say that uh, it's been a bad thing for me. Um, so, uh, well, I'll sign off. I'll sign off now, and um, I'll be keeping you posted on progress as we move into the space, which may be mid to late February now from talking to the landlord. But we'll just just wait and see. I'm staying flexible. <laughs>